I just drove. I just drove my lever steer. Ooh, it's starting to puff. Hello and welcome back to another edition of this 1947 pond lever steer. I don't think I mentioned it in the videos, but um, most all of our tractors get names. And I was doing some history research yesterday when I got home from uh, unloading this and realized that 1947 was the first year that a black baseball player was allowed in the major leagues. Jackie Robinson was signed with the Brooklyn Dodgers. And now I'm not much of a baseball nut, but um, what a true underdog story, you know, where pretty much everybody didn't believe in Jackie. Um, just like two guys, a father and son, working in their two-stall garage, building these tractors out of used parts, post-war, and, and building an empire. So, if you haven't realized, the name of this tractor is Jackie. So just to recap of where I left off, last night I had no compression, so I pulled the head off and found that the exhaust valve was stuck open and a little bit of juice and a little bit of rotation of that valve and it popped right back into place. Everything else looked pretty well. There wasn't a whole lot of cross hatch in the cylinder wall, but there was no, uh, there was no groove or notch or anything where the rings go. So I'm going to say that's probably all right. Um, everything's good and tight and, and seals well. So I put the head back on. I was going to use some RTV copper or uh, red, but I ended up just uh, using the existing head gasket and retorquing it. So now I have the, the cover off this magneto here and the points are back in there. And I'm going to clean those points because I didn't have any spark. But when I took this cap off, I realized that that plug wire was just barely hanging on. So it could be that I just didn't have any connection between my plug wire and my magneto cap. So I'm gonna just polish that set of points while I'm in there and then put it all back together and see if I've got spark. Now I've mentioned this before, but I'm just gonna use a dollar bill and I'm gonna fold it up a couple times and I'm gonna use that to polish my points. Reason being is it's it's not a great idea to use like sandpaper and scratch those points. I'd rather uh, I'd rather just polish them and clean any debris off them. So I'm gonna push that open, get it in there so it's just held in place, and then wiggle it back and forth. And that should be enough to clean those. See, up. looking at the the screen, that I've got a crack right here. So I might do a little repair welding on that um, just to make sure everything stays in place on road travel. Looks like it's been there quite a while, but I'd like to uh, fix that up. This here, even though it says Ward's gasoline engine, you can still see on that model number that it's an AEN Wisconsin. So I picked this up at a estate sale um, the same place where I got that RJ35. And um, I figured I didn't have anything to lose. I had already paid for the 35. So I offered half on this engine. I got it for 30 bucks. Has compression and rolls over. And the exhaust was corked off. It was inside on a shelf. But it's that same um, Fairbanks Morris Magneto. So I'm going to pop that cover off and check there for spark and see if I've got anything good. And still no spark. So neither one of these are giving me spark right now, but I do have another option. Uh, one of my good buddies down the road has 
a Wisconsin or two sitting in his barn. He said he'll probably never use or get to. So I can come down and grab them. So I'm gonna scoot down the road a minute and pick up another one or two and see if that doesn't help me with my quest to make this thing run. Well, here we go. A couple new engines for the for the stables. This was an old uh, alternator generator system to run lights at hunt camp with a Volkswagen muffler. And this is a smaller Wisconsin, but it still has a Fairbanks Morse magneto and it has spark. So I might end up using that magneto as long as the uh, as long as the drive gears are all the same, which I would assume they are. So I have a concern that the magneto is on the wrong side. Or not the wrong side, just the opposite side. You see? And so all of these Wisconsin engines in there, you can kind of see. It says DC on there. And that ignition, it's just past, that mark is just past this hole. And then inside this hole, you can see an X on that, on that gear. So what my assumption is, is that's top dead center and that's where the spark happens, or right around. And my assumption is that that X is just going to be on the wrong side and I'm gonna have to mark it with a paint marker or something. But I'm going to try to swap that in and see if I uh, have any progress. So there we have it. Um, you can see, where is it? Right there. There's the X. That's the mark on this timing gear. And then the inspection cover is actually on the front over here. So the timing gears match up. But this smaller engine had a smaller gear on it. So I'm going to see if I can swap these gears out put that gear on this magneto and then we'll be good to go. If anything, maybe I should just put the guts from here into there. That wouldn't be too much work either. Yep. For the sake of the kill switch being on the inside, on this one, <clears throat> and the outside over here, and the fact that these internal parts are the same, I'm just gonna take these internal parts that are giving me spark and put them into this case that is not. And then I should have spark.